perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. We have Serie A action for you. It's Sassuolo against Cagliari. Well, what an arena we've got here. Perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be a, an entertaining match. Check now on the team players for Sassuolo today. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. Check for you on Cagliari and their team today. So we think it's going to be 3-5-2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. Now the game has started. Opportunity in a wider area. Good position for the cross. Decided to go infield, looking dangerous. That's safely away. Now, João Pedro. Ro. Simeone. Mari. Chance to put it in the box from here. And he's opened the scoring with a fine finish here early on. Well, I know they've been working on this all week long, Martin, and boy, has it paid dividends. Lovely finish. Let's have another peek at that goal. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Tolian. Berardi. Duricic. Giving the ball away now. Can really get at the opposition here. He's won possession. They can be quick on the break now. Francesco Caputo. This could bring them level. There still could be a chance, but they've defended well. Could whip it in from here. Good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? They set it up well for the cross. Surely the equaliser. 
looks certain to score. Well, talk about agility. That is magnificent. Will they get the cross in from this short corner? Should be a chance. The keeper stops it. There could be a follow-up now. That was a puff-out-your-cheeks moment, and phew, got away with it. And this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now. Manianelli. It was a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. Well, the hosts here taking advantage of home advantage with the possession last 15. And the whole of this stadium, you sense, feels that an equaliser is coming because they're uh, dominating it with their impressive play going forward and the number of chances they're creating. That's cut out. Giovanni Simeone. Duricic. Domenico Berardi. They obviously believe that they can find this equaliser by passing their way through the opposition. The equaliser here. It comes out off the goalkeeper. Giovanni Simeone. Rowe. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. With plenty of speed but not much organisation, and the ball lost at a crucial time. And that's what they've been looking for, the ball in behind. He's cut it back looking for a teammate. Good try. And we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. To go in from here, danger was looming large, but they've got themselves back on the ball. And that's half-time, signalled by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Giovanni Simeone. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. Players arriving in the middle. He worked hard to get the cross in, but it didn't reach any of his teammates arriving in the middle. And that's good play by the defender, because had he messed up then, it would have cost a goal, I'm sure. It's a good press from the team that have won the ball here. He's won it back easily. Francesco Caputo and the away team want to make a change. Duricic, Francesco Magnanelli. Guiding it through the defenders. It's broken down and they'll have to try again. 
Caputo. Patiently building up. Rob. A little surprised, the visitors with less possession here. But they've done so well. They've got some quick players in this team and they broke out of defence with such pace. The manager will be delighted. The game plan is working perfectly. Domenico Berardi. Magnanelli. Caputo. Cleared it well. Well, the team that are in front are going to try and keep in front with a change here. A player being brought on from the bench. That throw has literally tossed possession away. Biersha. Substitute coming up for the away team. The referee in control because he's seen the advantage and indicated to the players to play on. And this is going to be a change here for the team that is leading. And it's clearly a tactical one to try and cement that winning position. Routine for the keeper. Francesco Magnanelli. Jeremy Tolian. Ferrari. Filip Juricic. This does look promising. And this could bring them level. And it does! Important point in the game. Well, what a game changer that might be. And I think the momentum's just shifted. Uh, the keeper's clawing away to his left, but he's hit it really hard, the goal scorer there, first time. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. So, away we go at one all. So, we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Gaston Pereira. Caputo. One or two options now in forward areas for them. Tight call, but he's made it, the flag's up. Some relieved faces. Amongst those defenders there, I think they thought the flag was going to stay down. And the managers decided for a change of personnel. Francesco Magnanelli. Domenico Berardi. Francesco Caputo. Filip Juricic. Oh, that interception there might just have saved his side. Well, just over 84 minutes gone. Six minutes left on my watch. Into the attacking third. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Duricic. Oh, this crowd demanding a response from the players. Players that they expected to be in the lead now. Excellent vision. Very well read by the goalkeeper because the attacker was almost in. Three minutes to be added on. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attacker to chase. It's offside, that's what the assistant has said. Well, when he looks back on that, I think he might be a bit disappointed because the strikers seem to time his... Well, that's it, we're level at the end of 90 minutes.